It is your boy, and today we are going over local SEO on a Concord level. And I wanted to make this video that would serve somebody that was a beginner, but also somebody that had been in the SEO game for a while could also get value out of this. So if you're a local business owner, we're going to get you to get your business ranked on page one if you follow these steps. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, the first thing we're going to go over is finding and targeting the right keywords, hence keyword research. My face is blocking the half of the word research. Don't worry about it. It's there. I promise you. Next thing we're going over are our title tags and meta descriptions. Very, very important and vital to get you ranked. Number three, on page optimization. And number four, we're going to go over schema. I know I touched base on that last part of our GMB series. We're going to show you how to do that with Google's uh, structured data tool. Number five is link building. And I've got an absolute awesome hack to take all the thinking out of building those localized links. Let's jump into it. All right, guys. So I'm inside of my Google AdWords account. Yes, I know about Atrius and I know about SEM Rush and I know about Moz, but for local keywords, this is the best data and it's free. So you're getting the best of both worlds. We want to target and find keywords. If you haven't watched our keyword research tutorial that I did in my last video using Google's natural language API, definitely check that out after you watch this video. See why I was so excited with that little trick. We're going to go into Google's Keyword Planner and we're going to find some keywords. All I'm going to do is come over here and I'm going to collect this little wrench icon. Go over here to the Keyword Planner. Easy enough. Okay, so our next thing here is we're going to want to discover new keywords. Now you have two options here. You can start with a keyword or keywords. So you'll have like a, a seed keyword and then it will pull other keywords off of that. Or you can come over here and start with a website, which means basically you can go over to your competitor's website and steal the keywords. You can take all that money they use to build that website and leverage that to your advantage. So we're going to start with the keyword first. And I just typed in plumbing company and we're going to get the results. Now we're here. We have our results. And first thing we need to do is we need to head over to locations and we need to narrow down. Right now we are targeting the whole United States. We don't want to do that. We just want to see uh, search traffic for those local keywords. So let's type in our location, which is going to be Indianapolis, Indiana. We're going to target that for this example. Save. And here we go. You have some suggestions up here for Google to broaden your research. And here we go. We got uh, plumbing companies near me, plumbing service services near me, drink cleaning services, uh, plumbing and heating, best plumbers. You guys are kind of getting the drift. Now let's hop over. I'm going to show you how to do this too. A competitor's URL. So we're back up here and the way I like to do it is go in cognito mode and what I did was I searched Indianapolis plumbing very broad word. Let's scroll down here and see we have Angie's List, Home Advisor, Yelp, those don't count. Okay, Hope Plumbing. These people are ranking number one for our main keyword. We know this site is optimized. This site was probably very expensive and a lot of resources were put into creating this site. Let's leverage some keywords out of it. So I'm over here. We're going to start with a website, copy and paste, Hope Plumbing, and we're going to get our results. Here we have, we have any plumbers, plumbing, Indianapolis, plumbing services, Indianapolis. I'm going to make a list of keywords and I'm going to get back with you in just a second. Okay, so I went ahead and made a list of the four type of keywords. All right, number one is our broad match. These are our one and two worded search terms. Okay. These are going to have the highest search volume, but they're also going to be the hardest to rank. But don't think quantity over quality, okay? Which leads to our number two, which is our long tail keywords. These are our three, four, and up worded search terms, okay? These are going to have lower search volume, but higher intent, okay? So the people that are typing in these search terms, you know they are driven to buy your product or service. Third type is location-based. So we're going to attach our location that we want to rank in with our keywords. So as you can see, we have plumbers in Indianapolis, best plumbers in Indi Indianapolis, plumbing company in Indianapolis. You're getting the drift. Finally, our modifiers. We're just swapping out the adjective commercial plumbing in Indianapolis to residential plumbing, reputable plumbing in Indianapolis, honest plumbing in Indianapolis. You guys are getting the drift. All right, now once you have a list of targeted keywords, you're going to want to hop over here into Google Trends. And you want to make sure you're not targeting a keyword has a trending down search volume, or you don't want to target a keyword that is trend. 
okay you want to target evergreen content that's going to deliver you traffic for years to come that's all I got to say about keywords. I could spend a whole video on that, but we're going to go over into title tags and meta descriptions. Your title tags and meta descriptions are a no enormous, enormous ranking factor when it comes into the eyes of Google. So we're going to go over a couple quick points with you real fast. This blue title right here is your title tag. Now you're going to want to have three things in your title tag. Number one is going to be your keyword obviously number two your brand and number three your location now this is kind of a bad example because one of our keywords is our location so bear with me but you see we have indianapolis plumbers keyword benjamin franklin plumbing that is the name of the company that's his brand and then obviously the location is indianapolis which is the keyword now a quick rule is that they need to be under 60 characters long now we're going to talk to you about real quick about your meta description okay it needs to be unique to each page you need to have your keyword in there at least once you see they have it twice three times here and twice here plumbing indianapolis plumbing plumbers indianapolis well it's a variance of the same word you used to be able to get away with stuffing these with keywords you don't get any more googles will penalize you and you will find yourself on page 813 quickly guys now i'm gonna hop over and let's do some on page seo here's a real quick pro tip before we go if you uh, start updating your title tags and meta descriptions make sure you save your old ones just copy and paste them to an excel file and put them away somewhere because sometimes what you think might give you a boost you actually see a decrease in rankings and you're going to want to revert back to your old title tags and meta descriptions I'm here on the back end of a WordPress website of marketingdivine.com and I want to talk to you real quick about images first. You need to resize and compress your images, number one, for faster load time. And then number two is you need to make sure your alt text is filled out. And number three, make sure your file name is optimized and named correctly. So feel free to stuff a keyword in there if you want to. If it's relevant all right next guys i want to talk to you about headers you have an h1 two three and four your h1 header is your biggest one and it needs to have the keyword or search term that you want to rank for so it's not too too complicated you're going to have your main subject just like if you're writing an article and then your h2s and h3s are going to be like your supporting topics if you watched our natural language api when you scroll down to the bottom after you use that, it has those boxes with topics that that article was about. That's what your H2 and H3 headers would be, would be those topics. All right, next I want to talk to you real quick about anchor text, all right? This is the anchor text. You see them right here, okay? It's going to have a link, and it's this is where you do your interlinking to your web pages. You need to be careful when you anchor text that you don't over-optimize because Google will penalize you. Now, I don't have a whole lot of time to get into it right now, but this is where you're going to title tags and meta descriptions. This is Yoast plugin. So I have my title tag set up for title, which is the title, my H1 header, which is the title of the article, a separator, which is this little line right here, my brand, which is the site title. Okay, and then you can put a category or whatever to get your location if that's what you want to do. Yoast, that's a whole other video. On to the next. All right, last thing I want to talk to you about on for on-page SEO is your URL structure. Make sure it is short and sweet. Google loves a short URL. I don't know if that's a bad joke or not. But all you gotta do is come over here in WordPress, permalinks, and then you have your options here. You're gonna to wanna to click on your post name. All right, next I'm gonna show you how to add schema markup to your website. Super simple. You're gonna head over to google.com webmasters markup helper. Okay, URL is right here. Google.com forward slash webmasters forward slash markup tech helper. All right, it's very important that you select the right category. This is the local business category, and then we are going to grab our URL. Boom, now we're gonna tag some data real quick, all right? This makes it very, very, very simple to add your schema markup. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight right here, and then we're gonna tell Google what that is. It's a name, all right? We're gonna scroll down to right here. We'll say address. Come over here, we're gonna tell Google that, that that is an address. I know that's not a real address, but we'll say that's a street address. This is the city, locality. This is going to be your region or state. And then this is your postal, which is 
right there. Then you can come over here, you can say this is your email. This is the phone number with right there. And as you can see, it's generating the HTML code right over here. I'm gonna move my head out of the way. We're going to create the HTML. And then right here is our JSON LD markup. All right, just like we used my map packs video, just like this. If you are a single location, local business, drop this down into the footer. If you have multiple locations, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. And guys, the last thing I wanna to talk to you about are backlinks, okay? Now, local SEO backlinking and national backlinking are two completely separate animals kind of in local seo you need to worry about local backlinks are what you want and you want relevancy a little hack i like to do with my clients is a sponsorship link and i'm going to tell you how i find those right now a sponsor link is getting a sponsorship in exchange for a link so you're sponsoring like the local football team or you're sponsoring the local little league baseball team or you're sponsoring a uh $500 for a girl to go to camp for the summer. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how we how I do that with this little hack right here. Here it is. Advanced Google search. If you guys know me, you know I absolutely love advanced Google search features. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in our your city that you are targeting or working in. In this case, we're gonna do Indianapolis, and then we're going to space in URL semicolon sponsors search. Now, we literally have pages upon pages upon pages of sponsorships that we have the opportunity to reach out and get links for. It's uh, the Home Show, Indie Film Fest. We have the Indie Public Library, State Fair. Uh, I'm head over here to page two. Uh, Women's Chorus, Grand Park, Indiana PTA. All right, Indie Fuel Hockey, the Special Olympics, Business Journal. Indianapolis Momentum Marathon. We have pages upon pages upon pages. There's no reason not to have a ton of localized links. You don't have to spend a lot of money for these whatsoever. My last hack is the sponsorship link. And why this is so powerful is because it gives you an EDU link, all right, which is a ton of power behind them. And what you do is you sponsor a kid, you pay $500, $1,000, for a sponsorship program and in turn the school the high school will give you a link back to your business and that five hundred thousand dollar investment just returns you page one rankings priceless another really cool idea is to create a community or partners page where you partner with other businesses that might target um, a sub niche of your audience or you have an overlap uh, interest and my last little tidbit of advice to get backlinks would be to drum roll <laughs> interview a local celebrity and reach and then once you have that interview completed reach out to uh, media outlets and submit that out it will also give you a pr boost that's it guys that is the low down and dirty local seo i hope you liked it like subscribe tell me you love it tell me you hate it hit that thumbs up hit the bell peace